Okay, so in this video we have three infinite series and we're going to try and determine what the sum to infinity is for each of these. So we want to be able to identify the first term and the common ratio. So for this first one, number one, we've definitely got a first term of two. Now the common ratio perhaps isn't so obvious. You can do four thirds divided by two, okay, which is two thirds. We can just spot that four thirds times two thirds will make the eight ninths. So that's your common ratio. So the sum to infinity is equal to the first term, 2, divided by 1 minus the common ratio, 2 thirds. So that's 2 over 1 third, which is equal to 6. So this will get closer and closer and closer to 6. The infinite series will be equal to 6. OK, so number 2, so that was 6. Number 2, we've got 100 plus 20 plus 4 plus 4 fifths plus etc. So the first term is 100. The common ratio is 20 divided by 100, so 1 fifth. So the sum to infinity will be equal to the first term 100 divided by 1 minus a fifth, which is 100 divided by 4 fifths. OK, so 100 divided by 4 fifths is 125. And so this infinite series adds to 125. And then finally, number 3, we have 6,000 take away 2,100 plus 735 take away 1,029 over 4 plus etc. So the first term is 6,000. The common ratio minus, so don't forget the fact that we've got a negative there, minus 2,100 divided by 6,000, which is minus 7 twentieths. So the sum to infinity is the first term, 6,000, over 1 take away r, so plus 7 twentieths. So that's 6,000 over 27 twentieths. So 6,000 divided by 27 twentieths, which is 40,000 ninths. OK, which is 4,444.4 recurring. OK, so that is how we can use this formula for sum to infinity, is how we can evaluate infinite series.